Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on knowing the names of 3D shapes. Now one 3D shape you may have come across is like this, where we have a 3D shape with six faces. The faces are different 2D shapes you see around it and they're all squares and that you might know as a cube. So it has six faces, six surfaces and they're all squares. Now if some of the faces are rectangles, like this, some might be squares as well, then that's known as a cuboid. So a cube can be thought of as a 3D version of a square, and a cuboid can be thought of as a 3D version of a rectangle. And there's also a curved 3D thing. So for example, take the Earth, it's in this shape here, and we say the Earth has a shape of a sphere. So a sphere, is basically the 3D version of a circle, where all the points on the surface of the sphere, like if you're on the surface of the Earth, wherever you are, is the same distance from the center. So this would be the same distance as that, the same distance as that. Actually, the Earth is not slightly spherical, it's slightly flattened, but I'm not gonna go into that. That's physics, not maths. Now, a prism is a 3D shape where wherever you slice it, you'll see the same cross section. So if I just draw an example, if you have some kind of 2D shape, and then you extend into 3D like this, that is known as a prism. So wherever I slice this, I'm gonna see that same shape here. It's a bit like, if you've ever seen Play-Doh, for example, and you know with Play-Doh, you can force the Play-Doh through a little shape, and it comes out as a tube. That tube would be a prism. And the cross section, this is known as the cross section, the cross section of your little tube would be the same as the shape you forced that Play-Doh through. So let's see some examples of prisms. If you have like a triangle, so you imagine you forced your Play-Doh through a triangle shape, this is known as a triangular prism, not surprisingly. And then either shape there was a pentagon, it would be a pentagonal prism, etc. And the only other key 3D shape you need to know here is when the cross section, this shape here, is a circle. And when you get a tube like that, that is known as a cylinder. So we don't call it a, a circular prism. We have a special name for that, which is a cylinder. And then finally, we've got pyramids. Now the pyramids you see in Egypt, that is in fact a pyramid shape. And what it is, is if you start with a shape at the bottom. So imagine like a square. This is a square in 3D. And then imagine that at each corner of that square, they all came up to some fixed point at the top. So all those four points of square all joined up at a single top here. We, that top is called the apex of the pyramid, by the way. That would be an example of a pyramid. So this is a square-based pyramid. And then you could have other shapes at the bottom as well. So for example, we could have a triangle at the bottom and then all those three corners of the triangle are meeting at some top vertex like that. That's known as a triangle-based pyramid, or actually the fancy name for it is a tetrahedron. And then, just like with a cylinder was a kind of circular-based prism, but we don't call it that, we call it a cylinder, there's also a similar pyramid version of that. If you have a circular base, and every point on that circle joins up to some apex of the top, that is known as a cone. And let me just label the bottom of this. The bottom here, that is known as the base of the pyramid. Just as this shape here is known as the cross section of the prism, this bottom bit of the pyramid is known as the base of the pyramid.